In this video, I'm gonna review the Costco Smoke Pork Pork. Hello everyone, JP here. Welcome to the meat eating channel. Today we're gonna try out this smoked pork pork Kirkland signature. You guys know I like Costco. So this is something I found yesterday. It shows about two pounds pork pork. And before we open it, as usual, let's try to weigh in. Alright, let's see. Don't drop, don't drop. So a little over two and a quarter. As usual, that's what the packaging is. And for the two pounds of pork pork, I pay, I believe it's $10.99 in Costco, so $5.50 per pound. Really not bad or we should say cost-effective that's the right term to use let's open it see what's inside okay let's put it in there Oops, how did I break it? Yeah. So it's one package that looks funny. If they didn't tell me, I probably would be a little scared to eat it. But hey, before we eat it, let's look at the packaging. Kind of pork, but smoke pork pork. Pet smoke with hickory wood, ham pole, vegetarian fat pork. I am no vegetarian, but I'm glad I could eat the vegetarian fat pork. Good to know. No antibiotics, that's what I like. So let's see, reading the label, what's here? Nutrition facts. So it's real. Uh, Let's see, serving three ounce. Why would you just eat three ounce? Uh, but okay, what I like to see. Uh, total carb, especially sugar, zero, zero. Okay, that's what I like. So my guess is from the packaging, there's no barbecue sauce there. Perfect, I don't wanna pay for that. Now, instruction. Okay, that's the funny part. Microwave, what does this say? Remove that and puncture four small holes in plastic pouch. Okay, put it inside the black tray. Okay, good. First time the container is doing something. That's good to know and Okay, microwave seven minutes, so the two pounds, maybe. And wait for two minutes, good. So I won't burn my hands. And cut it open, stir it. Or the stove top, okay. Put it in boil water, uh, boil it for 12 to 15 minutes Didn't know we are okay. I can call it a boyo sous vide. No, I'm making this up all right, so That is that I don't think I can finish two pounds or at once but uh, Let me think about what I want to do So like I mentioned there is no way I can finish this two pounds 
during lunch time. And let's see. I'm gonna put some in the container, whatever doesn't fit, or you know, I'll pick what I want to eat from there. Let's open it. Sure, look funny, but this is high fat content and it's not overcooked. Kind of what I expected. I know it looks funny. It's hard. I know that's not what the instruction says, but then. I have a sin against the heating in plastic bags before eating it. So here is the plan. I'm gonna take part of these and put them in the bowl, throw it in the oven, heat it up, and that will be my lunch. Okay. That sure it's tough actually it's a lot of effort to dig into this sin okay that is a good amount I like to eat actually I changed my mind I'm gonna do the rice cooker steam it up and it should look cool. All right, like I said, I'm gonna do the steam approach. This is the rice cooker. It's all set up, put a couple ounces of water in. Need this here. Put the cover on, and let's go. Should be back in 10 minutes or so and sit for another 10 minutes. All right, so now it's been 10 minutes since it's finished. Take a look. Okay, kind of what I expected. Uh, the grease is there, juicy, still hot. So let's see if I can get it out with one hand. So I'm gonna try it out. Eat it without adding any salt and pepper or barbecue sauce. There's the grease, the juice, it's down there. Pretty soft, as expected. And mix it a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't burn me. I've been waiting for 10 minutes after it's done. I'm gonna try it out. So it's a little bit more on the salty side. Uh, texture is great. It's not super soft, but it's not hard either. And the smoky flavor is really strong. I like it. It's nothing sweet at all. Like I show you, it shows zero sugar. That's what I like. And to be honest, it's really close to some of the barbecue restaurants quality. Mm. Wow. So, as usual, I'm gonna finish this in private. Final thoughts on smoked pulled pork. So, that was my lunch. I really enjoyed it. Although I'm not a vegetarian, I'm 
now properly saying I am a vegetarian fat pork eater. So the wonderful flavor texture, it's it's really good. You you should try it if you like barbecue. And to be honest, it's probably better than some of the barbecue places I've been to. I'm not gonna say names here. The other thing is the zero sugar. When I bought it, it was sketchy. Right? Do I want to eat a ton of sugar from the barbecue sauce? But turned out it's, again, this is like 80-90% finished product. You have to put the final touch on that. The zero sugar, it's, I really like it. And of course, the how cost effective, affordable that is for 550 per pound. Well, we don't say cheap anymore, so it's great value. And what I don't like about it, well, one is this is two pound. Looks funny when I have to divide that into you know multiple meals, but it comes with the cost. So I'm sure it's cheaper for per unit price. Then the funny part, you all saw that, the heating instruction. Okay, again, I don't like the idea that cooking something in the plastic bag then before you eat it, especially, you know, the 15 minutes boiling or seven minutes in microwave. Sure, it's this is the first product I saw, you know, something using the container and mention it in the instruction, which is good if that's you know, microwave is your only option, go for it. But so the reason I switched to the steaming is I used rice cooker since I was a kid and it's very forgiven, meaning you can try 10 minutes to 30 minutes, not gonna destroy it. And the plastic packaging and heating kind of imply that if I go with the oven option, gonna be too dry. So that's why I tried. Overall, this is something I'll buy again, definitely. I recommend this to everyone especially you have a busy lifestyle or even the camping, hiking, this could be a good option for the food. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.